expertise, so you're the only one that can use them. So now I'm going to ask Doyce to come back out and try a very rapid and complicated set of moves here, which will hopefully bring up uh, a very exciting demo where we've got uh, uh, a store where I'm going to show you this all working. Uh, that store is on an open source server that's in, I think, California, but I could be wrong. It could be on the U.S. East Coast. And waiting in that store to talk to us is my co-founder, Ryan. And uh, uh, we're going to go in and we're going to actually do all this stuff uh, that I just talked about live with software that has not been released yet. We intend to release it in about a month or two before the end of the year. Um, you're the first ones who've ever seen this. Uh, and it's quite a lot of software that we've just gotten done uh, in the last few months. And we thought this would be an amazing opportunity to uh, show off what we're doing. So Toys is uh, logging in there, and he's going to switch back in a second so I can, I can jump in. Uh, High Fidelity works on the desktop as well as on the fancy uh, head-mounted displays. And uh, he's doing one thing, because otherwise it'll look funny when I bring it up in world. But this is a live server with content that we've just built. And uh, let's just see how crazy I can do this. OK? Now, I'm going to move kind of slowly so that you guys can be my eyes without being made, uh, oops, made sick here. Ryan? Hey, can you hear me? I can, Ryan. Hold uh, on a welcome. second. I've got, I've got one thing happening, Toys. That is, uh, there he is. Can you guys see Ryan? Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hey, Ryan. Hey, how's it going? Can you shake hands? Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Amsterdam, virtually. Awesome. I'm going I'm to keep saying how I'm going to move my virtual head very slowly so as not to make our audience Excellent. nauseous. So, Excellent. I just gave a presentation, Ryan, and thank you for being here rather early in San Francisco. And why don't you show us around the new store? And, uh, uh, well, I want to buy a hat. I want to buy a hat like the one, well, maybe not like the one you have. You know, this is an exclusive A&J hat. Uh, this is the A&J store, so welcome. We're sort of building out this entire uh, domain for, for shopping and for uh, people to uh, populate these stores with uh, clothing and attachments. And so this is a... So we've already got some first... stuff to buy, right? Exactly. So come in over here and let me show you some hats that we've got on display. All the sound is 3D, by the way. You can see that. We actually can have uh, dozens of people in the store at the same time, which we did not do for this demo. So I like the cowboy hat, Ryan. Yeah, I think that one would suit you. You should uh, try it on. So I picked this up, and it makes a copy of my own. Whoa. Does it? What do you think? It's not, it's you know, not sitting. Yeah, it's, why don't it's we pretty go? good. It's not sitting on your head. Let's go over to the mirror. Okay, let's go to the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's not quite see. right. So this this is pretty messed up. I mean, I can try and, and maybe I, do I need to make it a little bit bigger, like that. Ryan, can you, now one thing you can do in our store, Ryan, can you, I can't see the side of my head. You know? Yeah, let me, let me fix it a little for you. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty good right there. Nice, nice. What else do you got? I, I, oh look, are those watches? Yeah, we got some cool watches in over here. I think there's a couple that you really like. This one in particular is pretty sweet. This is pretty cool. So we got a, we got a watch here. I, I don't know, this is made for an enormous muscular person. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it a little smaller here. Like you can do that with virtual things. You can't do that with a real one. And I'm going to put that on my, that's still a little big, right? So you can see, you guys, as I put this on, it kind of attaches to my body. Nice. This is pretty awesome stuff, by the way, folks. This is the ability to put objects like this on your avatar and have somebody else adjust them at the same time. It's pretty nice work. Nice work, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> you want to check out behind me? There's a, some let's, checkout stands where you can get those things. things. Now let's get into the craziness of the blockchain here, you guys. So. Thanks, Ryan. I'm gonna come over here. So we've got a checkout station, okay? And when I go over here, look at this. So how would you do a virtual checkout? Well, let me show you. So when I get close enough, you see this little tablet here? 
This is kind of what we use for all of our uh, operations uh, in High Fidelity, sort of your, your UI. So up here you can see floating, I've got the items that I uh, bought. And so uh, well, let me grab that hat, okay? And I'm gonna put it on the scanner here. Now this is where we're starting to get into the blockchain. As I mentioned before, I've got a wallet in here. And so this item comes up and it says that to purchase it, I'm gonna have to pay 10 HFC, which is the proposed name of our new currency here. And so I'm gonna just click on that button and it says confirm. I can see a little security picture up there in the corner. That actually guarantees, that's one of those like the web, it guarantees that I'm actually talking to the right server and by extension the blockchain. So I'm gonna confirm that. That was all it took. Uh, it's confirming this on the blockchain and I can actually click a button here and say wear it and you'll see, it's hard to even see but it'll flicker for a second. There you go, where it actually, that switched the sort of one I was trying on to the one that I officially own. And uh, that's pretty amazing. I can look, you can see I can look at other things. I can look at all the things I own. So we mentioned that idea that the asset information is on the blockchain and I can basically uh, take a look here. Oh, I'm noticing I'm turned around a little bit, aren't I? There we go. This is one of the persistent problems with the Oculus Rift, you know, you end up. So I can, I can uh, bring up my tablet here and I can, I can take a look at those uh, things that I own. I can also, I mentioned before, I can also go to my wallet. I can see how much money I have in my virtual account. And again, that is my actual uh, blockchain balance. I can do things like, uh, you know, choose a new security picture or update my passphrase. The passphrase that's stored here encrypts the private keys that I own. And as I touched <coughs> on earlier, what's really amazing about the blockchain, and it has a huge application for VR, is that those keys uh, are stored, are owned only by me. So high fidelity, no matter how much you would like to, uh, cannot do anything with this watch once I've bought it. Pretty, pretty powerful. Now, as I mentioned before, Ryan, did you, do you, are, are you an official owner of this, uh, of this hat? I am. This is an official monster game. You should be able to inspect it. Now look, I can point my little laser beam at that and I can click here. And again, we read into the blockchain and come up with this name, Monster Beanie. Doesn't show me who the owner is. Ryan's a kind of a private consumer. I can see that he has number 11 of infinity in this case. It's not a limited edition item, it could be. And when he bought it. And I can jump right to the marketplace and buy one myself if I want to. And in the case of that hat, I really don't. <laughs> now, we're getting ready for this launch in a couple of months of this capability. And so uh, Ryan and his team have been building a, a big complex, of, a starter server of stores here uh, that other people are going to move into and start selling things. Uh, we're all about... You also launch. noticed there, Philip, if you look at your wrist, the watch oh. that you tried on has been taken off, and that's because you didn't pay for it and you left the store, so <laughs> you didn't want to steal that, so <laughs> the minute you walk out, it took it off your wrist. <laughs> Well, so you can imagine, as you can imagine, you know, not only is the blockchain a, a chain effective, but in general, and it was wonderful that we touched on this earlier, we believe, and we saw this in Second Life, that the, the capability that people uh, are gonna have to go shopping virtually like this is gonna scratch an itch for people um, and hopefully motivate content development in a way that uh, I bet will be pretty amazing even compared to uh, Second Life. So again, this is uh, just some beautiful work that we, were, we, we wanted to show you for the very first time today. We just had a very successful demo of it uh, without a hitch there. Exactly, thumbs up, Ryan. Thank you very much. And, uh, All right, see you guys. Great, that's the end. Thanks, everybody. Thanks very much. Uh, I hope that's a good idea. Uh, maybe a little bit of a uh, hoping that the future is maybe a little bit closer than we might have thought. You know, we're talking big pictures here, but you know, this is a really pragmatic use of both VR, uh, open worlds, and the blockchain that I think uh, suggests that you know interesting times are yet to come. So, thank you very much.
Wow, that must be one of the most um, successful, incredibly um, impressive um, and dicey demos that has um, ever been shown at a, a conference like this. So I think we've all been very privileged to see that. And to think two years ago at the R Day, we were looking at prototypes, 360 cameras, to move from those to um, virtual currencies and virtual tablet payment systems in two years is, is quite extraordinary. Who knows what we'll be seeing next year, um, but I hope you will be back to see more. It's been an extraordinary day of speakers. I'd like to thank Benjamin DeWitt and all the organisers.